Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Umar Saeed. I'm a fellow member of ACCA and Chartered Financial Analyst. I have more than 18 years of diversified work experience, both in public and private sector. I have been engaged in teaching for last 12 years. This area of R is financial risk management is a very diversified course and it will be having many topics will be covered in great depth. It's current need of the regime that we need to learn about this techniques because risk management is one of the integral part in current world. So as I just mentioned, we will be discussing many topics and many areas. So we initially I'll give you a roadmap that what are the areas we will be studying in this whole course. We will make sure that once we are done with this course, all areas are well understood by all of us. We need not to worry about these topics because we will be studying them in great depth. So I'll just present you a roadmap for this course. Our first module will be introduction to financial risk management. In this, we'll having a great in-depth uh, understanding of the basic concepts, definitions, how the risk management evolved, what was the history of this, and at the same time, how risks are being measured and taken care will be reflected in this module. In second module, we'll be talking a very important sector of our this course that is derivatives. Derivatives are the most important learning outcomes of this particular course. In derivatives, we'll be learning what are the derivatives, what are the types of derivatives being available, how they are being calculated, what are the application, what is the practical utility of those, and we'll be discussing multiple derivatives being used in market. For example, we'll be discussing about futures and forwards. So we'll be discussing a lot of that in this particular area then in the later module we'll move to advanced risk management strategies this is a elevated level of what we have discussed in first two modules here we'll be learning about key strategies how risk can be used how risk can be materialized how risk can be managed to make benefit out of them so here we'll be like specifically focusing devising strategies to work it out and making benefit out of it and at the same time applying them to different sectors applying them to different environments will be learned in this area these are just brief glimpses of what we'll be discussing actually modules will have multiple topics and multiple areas to be learned from then we'll move to quantitative concepts related to risk management quantitative you must have studied quantitative in your prior history another in simple word you must have studied statistics so here we will be applying statistics in context of risk management, portfolio management, how that is being used, how that is applied in the financial world. So here our focus will be, uh, for example, we'll be studying Monte Carlo simulation. You need not to worry about these words. We'll be spending a lot of time on these, but for your understanding, we make sure that once we are done with the course, our whole roadmap is pretty captured. We should once we are done with the course do remember to come back to these slides and make a tick for yourself that we have covered them or not so that will be a check for you for your whole learning and we'll be also applying lot many illustrations for the statistical models and in other modules as well next will be another important area that will be portfolio risk management risk in isolation is required to be learned but the core application applies when we go for risk management in the context of portfolio when i say portfolio we mean a combination of multiple assets maybe of same type or it could be of different type for example we have one share that's just one investment if we have five shares that it's a portfolio and in my case it could be five share as well as five bonds and again, it's a more diversified portfolio. So we will be applying risk management in portfolio because in portfolio need for risk management is even higher. Similarly, in that context, we will be learning what are the key concepts, how risks are being measured specifically with respect to portfolio, what are the benefits, what are the types, we will be studying them in great depth. For example, we'll be studying multi multiple factors model. There may be single factor we have discussed CAPM or anything in your previous studies. Here we'll be applying more than one factors and applying them to the portfolio context and making returns and risks out of that. 
Our next volume will be advanced risk management. This is a development of the pre area and addition of the new stuff. Here we'll be discussing about measure of risks which are of current regime. For example, value at risk. It may be a new word for you, and we need not to worry about that. We'll be studying that in great depth. Here we it's this is the emerging concept and it's being applied worldwide majorly in all financial institutions especially banks asset management companies they rely on this to a very great extent so we will be learning that in great depth what is war how it is calculated we can call it war we can call it war uh, both ways sounds fine we can, we can even call it var so here we'll be uh, learning how var is calculated what are its application then we'll be applying it in the learning of the capital markets. There is another important area that is efficient market hypothesis. We'll be learning what are the perfect markets, what are the types of markets available, how things are being calculated, how we forecast. So here we'll be learning in this particular module. Then to a common man, this unit, this section is very relevant. That is currency risk. Everyone must have heard of this factor that dollar price, if dollar manga ho gaya, dollar kam ho gaya, isse hume bahut zada har bande se link rehta hai. Ya at least aapne apne parents se ya family members se ye baat bahut suni hogi. To wo bhi currency risk management, risk management ka ek integral part hai. Aur humare liye har tarha ke size of business ke liye ye ek bahut important. To yahan pe hum samaj rahe honge ki ye currency risk management hai kya? How it is impact. For example, मैं बात करता हूँ. आपने कुछ चीजें import करते हैं. And at the time of import, the currency rate is 130. And you have an option कि आप इसको तीन महीने बाद pay करें. तो जब तीन महीने बाद आए payment का time आया और अब आपने जब dollar पर chase करके pay करने हैं, तो that उस वक्त rate हो गया जैसे आजकल एक पिछले दिनों high का ये बहुत ज़्यादा. Rate move up to 140. So that mean you will be end up paying a very big amount compared to what you entered in the beginning. So, यहाँ पे risk management का काम है कि इसको कैसे capture करेंगे, इसको हम कैसे forecast करेंगे, how to mitigate these. इसमें हम hedging भी करेंगे कि इस risk को खत्म कैसे करना है, पहले इसको understand कैसे करना है, फिर हमने इसको कैसे hedge out करना है, how to structure it, how to take care of that. कुछ लोग currency से भी earn कर रहे होते हैं. So that is another tool of that that we can trade in currency to make money out of it. You can be bullish on one currency. आपको लग रहा है कि जी ये सऊदी रियाल बहुत ऊपर जा सकता है. So you can take exposure on that. So up in that case you are more like making investment for return. You are not actually a hedger. You are a kind of a speculator जो के profit के लिए उसमें entry कर रहा है. Then our last module which is definitely not, we are not uh, mentioning all the topics. It will have multiple topics, but the main core area will be enterprise risk management. This is a latest emergent concept where the risk management ki bhi advanced technologies apply. Here we have use of more computer technologies, use of more peripherals, which is an overall enterprise level pe risk ko kaise structure. Kiya या हम सिर्फ बिजनेस ट्रांजैक्शन की बात नहीं कर रहे या हम पूरे ओवरऑल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की फंक्शनिंग की बात कर रहे हैं तो आर एम हियर विल बी टू लर्न द रिस्क मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम द हॉराइजन ऑफ द होल एंटरप्राइज सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग स्ट्रेटजीज एंड पॉलिसीज व्हिच आर बीइंग डल्ड इन देयर रेस्ट विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक थैंक यू